Oh, I want an emoji. I got an emoji for you. This is my heart chakra. It's my drum. It's my inner smile. It's your drum. Hello, everybody. Hello, welcome. Tristan and Sabrina here. Trisbrina for the Trisbrina Show. Yahoo! Okay, so today we're digging into one of our most favorite things in the what entire you... world. What's that you say? Tone it down, son. We're diving into the beautiful energy art of Qigong. Qigong, spelled Q-I-G-O-N-G. -G. Qi, like Qi, like prana, like the energy. Qi. That's how you get really good <laughs> smiles when you take good pictures. I would say, Qi. <laughs> Qigong is a 6,000-year-old moving meditation. It is the grandfather of of tai chi tai chi as you may say chi and it is a practice that is becoming incredibly popular in the west it's as i said been around for thousands of years mm -hmm. it was shrouded in secrecy for a long time you know in the cultures where things were kept close to the to the heart and and away from people who they just didn't want them getting the power of qigong so we're going to talk about the power i think it's kind of like did i interrupt you it's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's, I feel like it's similar to yoga. You know, yoga felt very esoteric. Is it a religion? And now people understand that, or, or the way that it's embraced, is it's a way to keep your body really healthy, to release stress, to stay fit. And it has, it has changed the way that when, when somebody says, I'm going to yoga class, they no longer think, ooh, that's weird. They're going to church. They, they understand. I think the same thing with Qigong is that people are really embracing. Well, I know they are because we just did a three-day, a five-day energy event. Seven day. Seven by day. By the time we were done. Where we offered a, a sampler plate of Qigong for immune boosting. And we had over 6,000 people register. So people are starting to understand that it is something that can increase their health, that can help them heal, that can help them maintain their health, that can relieve stress. It's no longer this shrouded. Esoteric shrouded. Yeah. Yes, totally. Thank you. Well, she said it better than I could have. So there you go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> now, we want to talk about Qigong. We want to talk about this word. It sounds like a big word, sometimes mastery. But, you know, Sabrina and I, we're on this path of mastery. And we always say around here, master your mastery. There's never a cap. You don't rest on your laurels. You continue to evolve. You continue to grow. And mastery is just a beautiful thing to move towards, right? It's not an end game. Mm -hmm. You hear people talk about the 10,000 hours to mastery well yeah. there's some big truth in that dabbling just splashing your foot around in an art isn't going to give you the results that you desire it does require consistency but consistency only comes through alignment and what we mean by alignment is something that you are like yes this is what I've been looking for so we do a lot of sharing to help people identify whether or not this is the right thing for them if this truly could be helpful to you so let's talk a little bit about the beauty of what Qigong does in the physical body. I want to talk about mastery. Body. I know you do. Right now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> that, I know who's running the show tonight. That word, mastery, <laughs> is um, it's kind of a funny word for me because it feels so big and it feels so scary. And yet I, what I realized is you master one thing at a time. Mm. You master where to put your foot. You master where to put your shoulders. You master how to move your arm. And cumulatively, there is a level of mastery. It isn't, you know, when I was in the ballet company, that word mastery was like, you're freaking Barishnikov. That's who you are. It wasn't a word that was used to express the process of learning and getting better. Mm -hmm. And that's really the way that we use the word is don't just take one lesson and think you've got it, but it's about continuing on that path of mastering one step at a time, one skill at a time, and then probably sharing that with others. Master your mastery, yeah. right? I love that. Sabrina is a masterful mover. 
She's been at the art of movement, if you will, many different kinds of movement from ballroom dance to the martial arts that she's learned to ballet and, and many other movements in the fitness genre. Twerk. And twerking. and Mastering my twerk. Of course, Qigong. Um, she's a beautiful mover, but she's been dedicated to this path of movement since she was young. And so she has a very high level of physical and energetic intelligence. But not everybody comes into this life with that. And she had a natural propensity for it. I didn't. I was very clumsy. It took me a long time to get my two left feet figured out. It took me longer to learn than others, but I stayed with it. Mm -hmm. Now you have a mastery, pure joy. I was going to say, like, have you mastered eating chocolate? I'm really right? good at that. <laughs> because it's something a lot of people enjoy. So any anything that we do with a sense of ritual, we develop a mastery over it. So he says I'm a, a master at movement. Well, I've just, I've loved to move. I've loved to move since I was three. I don't know if I was naturally good at it, but I know that I loved it from the age of three. It felt great. When I did my first forward tumble <laughs> i have a i have an old old video tape it's not video whatever whatever it is that my parents took when one held the light and one held the camera and i took all the cushions off of the furniture on the front porch and i laid them in the yard and i'm doing a forward roll and saying daddy film me i thought i was in the olympics i'm just doing a <laughs> forward roll and i don't even recover from it you know at three you just sort of roll and splat but I, I just loved it. I thought it was so fun to feel so good in your body. And then as, as the decades have accumulated, now it's, it's fun to move, but it's really fun the way I feel after I move. And that's really where I wanted to go with the whole movement thing. People fall in love with movement in a new way with Qigong, so you don't have to be... Uh, a, a mover since you were the age of three yeah. to love and and even master qigong so we have the sabrinas over here who she's just a beautiful mover and loves it as you just heard from that first tumble me i love the way that it felt as i started to gain little by little some mastery over my body some more coordination some a relationship with movement and I have found that the way in which Qigong can be learned, because it's so slow and it's so gentle, it's very, very easy to learn. And I'm witnessing our students become masters of movement because it's such a perfect way to learn how your body works. We were working on today understanding the legs. We were almost compartmentalized our bodies for a moment. Okay, so how do the knees and the in, in in our qigong class? In our in our classes, yeah, in our qigong in not, this room not just right like here. Sitting in the bedroom, the two of us were. No, no, our stu. I, I did yeah. say students. Oh, okay, our students <laughs> were. She's keeping me in check tonight. Ankles and Bonnie likes it. <laughs> connected to knees, connected to hips. Oh. Hips, that's a whole other ball game here. We've got, you know, the pelvic girdle and we've got how the spine sits inside the pelvis like a like a flower pot, right? And then we've got the legs that are like the roots that go into the earth and we're creating stability and movement function. And then, oh, we've got the stalk, the spine, and how important it is to move the spine and open this. Oh, wait, we've got branches, the arms, right? And how they're connected to the shoulders. And so we're going on this journey that I would call movement mastery. But then what happens in Qigong is it goes beyond the physical. And this is where it gets super sexy. Because inside of your physical body, there's an energy matrix. Just like for some of us in our houses, in our yards, oh, we have a friend visiting. I gotta help Lord him. Bentley. In your garden, underneath the grass, if you have an irrigation system, you have channels that deliver the water to these sprinkler heads, right? Or to these flower beds. And so inside that we can't necessarily see, but we can learn to feel, there's an irrigation system mm. that can deliver fresh life force to every part of you. That's good. Now there are also pumps, like in a swimming pool, that pumps the water. That's the breath. 
we start diving into the mechanisms of the breath and the directions of the breath and the tone of the breath, there's all these qualities of development. When you start realizing how you get more oxygen inside, how inside the breath, <clears throat> excuse me, as you learn to use your, oh, we're moving into another layer here, your mindful awareness, you can absorb life force, what? Through the breath into the blood, and then you can move it through your irrigation system and your pump is circulating it. And But wait, there's more? There's chakras and energy centers, say what? I've got one here and here and in my hands and feet and other areas. Like you start having this relationship at this much deeper level yeah. of how you're you're built. Mm -hmm. Those of you that it's practice beautiful. Satori Qigong, the flow form, if you've been through that program, you know that it goes through the power center, the heart center, the wisdom center, and blending it all together. So mm -hmm. it's very sequential in the learning. And that's something that is very powerful in Satori Qigong. We opened up talking about the esoteric nature and the, the shrouded and secrecy stuff. That was a real thing even when I was a kid in martial arts. There were teachers who wouldn't teach you stuff. And sometimes there's good reason for that. Like maybe something is too soon. It might be a little bit too advanced. Too or soon? Too soon? might be uh, something that you're just not quite ready for yet and you need a masterful teacher to give you the right information at the right time in the right order. That is important. That is important. Sequencing is important. But some of it was more like, oh, we're not going to share this because this is our special thing. Now, that's broken down. That's gone. The doors are open. So many ancient sacred lessons that the world needs today are available. We've uncovered we've been given we've been taught so many beautiful things and i was yeah. saying to some students the other day don't keep this to yourself share this with others don't don't be selfish in that way like i'm feeling fit as a fiddle and vibrant and frisky and in love and i feel healthy and i'm flexible and i'm 54 <laughs> this year and i'm i'm strong and i like i got to share this you know what i'm saying can't like, keep it in can't keep, can't it, keep in. it in i got to let, let it out, out. I got so much to say, say what you mean, mean what you're thinking and thinking and think. Oh, why? Why you, must you waste your life away? Thank you, Cat Steven. <laughs> Having a breakout moment. But you got to share this stuff. And so then we are like, well, let's re-enroll all of our Qigong instructors and our tribe to learn Qigong. And let's blow this thing up, man. Let's like yoga took the stage. And it's like yoga magazine, yoga international. Every mall's, you know, it's got a not so much anymore. Yeah, but as sometimes as our bodies COVID. change, so perhaps will your fitness program, as your body changes, that maybe the the way in which you keep the energy activated will change. With certain things with my body, from a car accident and not having cartilage in my knee and some issues with my hands, I can't really do a yoga class. I have to make so many modifications the whole class right. that I, I can't do it. And now it's also, um, well, it, in person it feels awkward because you're opting out of half of it. But with Qigong, it is the most accepting Loving. Um, fitness, energy, healing arts because you can even do it from a chair and yeah. still get benefit. So the, the benefit is because I think that mind focus and that breath focus and you're really using you know, our whole Satori math, the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, the physical body and the energy body through the heart, especially with the flow form, the way we balance those energy centers, that you get this tremendous effect, this tremendous benefit without all of the pretzeling. Now, I was a pretzel. I mean, I'm still flexible in the directions that I am like crazy. This would be a leg back here <laughs> if she wanted to. <laughs> yeah, but, but there's just certain things that like one knee to, to bend it now. Right. I, I, I can't. But. And it's not a limitation. I do everything that I can do. But the Qigong is so healing to that. And it's so easy to make modifications for everyone. So that's another everyone thing I really like about Qigong. it. Everyone should learn Seriously, every we're here to champion like Qigong Dr. tonight. Oz says, if you want to live to be a hundred, Doctor Oz says, do Qigong. do Qigong. Seriously, if you can, if you can ride a bike. No, if you could walk, you can do. If you could sit, you could do Qigong. <laughs> <laughs> like let's, let's distill it down to the easiest yeah. function. We we were in this um, 
this talk last night and it was with a lot of successful entrepreneurs who also um, especially this one he's been meditating for 45 years 45 years and so he was kind of the star and we were on the st- co- co-star panel and then people would ask questions and it was just f- like I would say 99% of the people were saying I can't get my mind to stop I've tried to meditate and I have to quit and yeah. I was so happy to be able to say to those people hey we got you, <laughs> life, because you can, Qigong gives those type A personalities or the anxiety-ridden personalities mm. a way to focus. You know, I heard the most incredible reframe two days ago. Someone was saying, um, I struggle a little bit with obsessive compulsive thoughts, and Sabrina does. Sabrina did in the past. Not so much anymore. Not, no, I'm good. You I, nip it right I, away. I really, I have to stop it. I just can't. She reframes but I mean, at the speed of I was a counter. God. Like if I was in this room, I would know how many rings are on the curtain rod. Oh, I would no. know how many squares of tile were in the bathroom. Like bad. And the reframe on that was, well, you have such a strong mind. When your mind focuses on something, you don't want to let it go. And I, I so appreciated that reframe because that would really help me back then. So let's take that strong mind and let's really focus it on the technique that you're using for your Qigong. Now, as a child, I think that's why I liked singing and dancing and performing and being in plays because I got to say the words that were being written for me and do the choreography that I was told to do. And I I couldn't have any other thoughts except that. So I found it extremely relaxing. But I was telling, we were telling all these people, you can have a moving meditation. It doesn't just have to, you don't have to struggle and fight like that. That's another thing I really love about it because that may be the door you enter into, but then with practice, all of a sudden you're going to, you realize, oh my gosh, I wasn't thinking for a while. And I want to share this from Belinda, who's here joining us, one of our certified Qigong instructors. She's also a yoga instructor, and she says she totally agrees. Qigong is so powerful for everyone at every age and fitness level. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Belinda's got an amazing story of healing yeah. using the power of Satori Qigong. Um, hmm, not sure if we can do that right there. Let me click that button. Um, A beautiful, beautiful testament to the power of this Qigong because she was able to heal from a surgery and be able to take our certification exam. And she was cleared within nine days of having stitches in her chest. Unbelievable story. So grateful that she shared it with us. Yeah. Um, I I mean, we... Every single time that we have like a a deep dive mastery uh, program and take a small group of people through the course, the, I'm going to say miraculous healings that happen Incredible. for the people going through it, physically, emotionally, and spiritually, every time. And no one signs up for the program for that. Like usually people sign up, and we'll tell you more about that later, because they're wanting to share this thing that they love with others. But in the process, the stories are just so, so amazing. So we're here to share about Qigong tonight, get you all excited about it, whether you're certified by us, you're just doing it for yourself, or you think it would be a really good idea to do a mastery level training with us and even get certified if you'd like, you are in the right place for this conversation. We're going to dive in a little bit more to where we're going this month. With So we just came off the tail end of a beautiful event. Many of you were there. It's an energy detox and reboot. And I, if you were here in the beginning, you heard Sabrina say 6,000 people registered for it that means 6,000 people found a, our page or we sent it to them or somebody sent it to them that said would you like that. to boost your immune system would you like to learn and stay arts? strong with the energy arts of qigong and 6,000 people said yes so people really want this here's right what now. that's saying that's saying people are interested in this that's saying people are interested in learning from home Mm -hmm. That's saying that people are going through stuff because it's been a tough last year and and life is hard and they want something effective. And a lot of those people invested in themselves for five, six, then seven days learning. There were thousands and thousands of comments and testimonials. And then there were hundreds and hundreds of people. One of the biggest months we've had in our business 
that said yes to going further with us. Mm -hmm. And many, many, many people want to go further. They want the mastery and they also want to be able to teach. And they ask about certification. Mm -hmm. So let's move into that conversation. And a lot of the people that attended that event really enjoyed attending a live live class in real time rather than just like buying a program off a shelf but yeah let's talk about certification well let me let me segue for you okay so here's why i think it's a good idea to to study more Um, i'm going to speak for a moment to the people who were part of the five six seven day event when we start doing something and we're doing it with a group of people it's exciting and we have a short little goal, which is I'm going to attend these five, six, seven, eight, seven classes, as many as that you were able to get. You were able to get a win, right? You were able to go through that, make a commitment, and the people felt great. But here's what happens. If we don't stay consistent and keep implementing, that level goes back down and then old habits come back up. So what we like to do is be so supportive, that's why we do shows like this, so supportive and inspire people to stay on track. Mm -hmm. And if you're a helper and you like helping people, which you probably have heard from your friends, they say, you're so, that's great advice, you're so kind, you, you, I love you know, that you always have a great idea about movement or health or meditation, right? That's, that's our audience is into that, you guys are into that. Oh, you're someone I can talk to. So because we know that people start flowing down after that five, six days, we want to ramp them back up. So here's what we did. We invited them to our Life Force School, and many of you are there. You're part of our dojo, and so you're training. And we always say the best way to learn something is to train as if you're going to teach it. So this is the personal mastery part. If you really want to master or get really good at Qigong, practice as if you're going to be a teacher. Just that alone. Do it for you. Mm -hmm. Second step, the fact that so many people wanted to learn Qigong is a really good (laughs) knock, knock, knock opportunity that if you like meditation Mm -hmm. and movement and health and helping people, and you've noticed that we've kind of been at home having to figure some stuff out from home, and it can be taught from home, could that be an awesome opportunity for you too? Yeah. I think the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. So we created a program that teaches you how to learn the Satori Qigong Mm -hmm. as well as share it with others because you get certified, Mm -hmm. right? So before we went live, I wrote down a few statistics that I'm just going to look at and read to you. This is crazy stuff. Um, Crazy cool. The coaching and teaching industry, I think a lot of what I say is obvious, but I'm just going to say it anyway, (laughs) is really taking off. It's already a 2 billion dollar industry this is coaching generally speaking and right? one of like the helping fastest other people growing professions in the world so if you've wanted to have a business that makes a real difference in other people's lives and gives you freedom and flexibility then i think you would like to check out the certification and it this is whether you're doing it for yourself or you want to start some type of business or add it to something you've already doing. So for me, what I love is, when we were talking about this, I actually posted a picture of Tristan sitting outside today, in the like at noon, he's sitting outside meditating, and it's 76 degrees, and he's sitting out by the pool, and I'm like, I love this. You know, yesterday we went and got our hair done at the same time, and we called it a hair date. But, you know, when you work from home, or when you're your own boss, you set your own schedule, you determine your own fees, you choose your own clients, but more than that is you can change another person's life forever. Um, So things that make a good teacher, if you're thinking, would I be? Are you somebody that people kind of turn to for support in in a variety of ways? Because if they do, if you're somebody they want to talk to, that means that you have this frequency that you're trustworthy and that you're a leader. Um, or for some people, they, they are feeling uninspired by their current career or maybe they're retired. And a lot of people who have been through the CERT feel like, you know, I missed, maybe I missed my calling. CERT is what we call our certification. certification. I didn't I didn't do my passion thing because this other opportunity came up that I thought would be more profitable for me. So I did that. And now at this point in my life, 
I'm kind of thinking I'd like to do that thing that really fulfills me more and is more in alignment with who I am. Or maybe... Sorry, what? Maybe you're like thinking, I want to change things up a bit. My life's feeling a little bit stagnant and I, I want to learn something new. I want to do something new. Those are some good stats. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> All of that information to me just says that, so I'm always looking for what's the opportunity, like what's in it for me. So when I hear that the coaching business is blowing up like that, I, I wonder why. And I think I know. I think it's because people need help. I think that's what a good coach is, is a helper. A coach is someone who helps you implement. A coach is someone who holds you accountable. Mm -hmm. A coach is someone who shows you something you didn't know before. Uh, whether you call yourself a coach or a teacher or an instructor or a, a, a guide, however you, you see yourself, a parent yeah. is a teacher, mm -hmm. is a guide, is a guidance system for the young ones, right? Like we are here, I believe, to serve others. Yeah. But that starts with ourself. So it always is yin and yang. I, I practice Qigong, Sabrina reference sitting and meditating today. I can't help you or anyone if I don't fill this chi vessel up. I've, I have to build big chi. And I do that by knowing my art. Mm -hmm. And I practice it. Those of you who are in the Life Force Dojo today, and, and if you're here right now, did we learn a couple things today that the flow gong that can take your training to a whole other level? I mean, if, if, if you've got some nuggets, share them in the chat because I see a lot of you here. I'd love to know what you got. Um, to me, that's a gift is to be able to receive new information that can change you. Mm -hmm. So I practice for me first. I would say practice for you first so you can show up for your family, so you can be the beautiful, I'm gonna say it, badass that you are, because you're fit. Look, we just talked about Belinda, her healing capacity, because you're beautiful, like you're joyful, you're kind. Qigong taps you into the heart center. Sabrina mentioned the energy centers the power center. That's that healing life force. That's down here in the lower area. You build the chi in the belly. But the heart, this is this is this is the heart. This is like, oh my gosh, just loving, loving life and loving people, loving humans. Being so grateful that you have some love that you can share with us because you ever been grumpy? You ever been feeling like shut off or hurt and alone? Or judge somebody else for being that way. Or judging and feeling disconnected from humans. Like when you crack your heart back open, you become like a sage. You, 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 are, you have a, this shaman, this inner wise being inside you that's sitting there waiting for you to get back into the game. And when you crack this thing back open, it's like, oh man, man, oh man, oh man. You just want to serve this love. You just want, and, and you're fearless. You are. Like you can have top level mind stuff, but not when you open this up. And when you start moving and meditating from your third eye, you start opening up what's called the yin tong and you invite the light and you feel the chi flowing through you and boom, this is open and your power center. That's the three energy centers that we teach in the Satori Chi. You get those suckers aligned, you can take that chi, that life force and pour it into anything you want. That's what our map is over here. It's about reactivating a connection mm -hmm. to source force, to life force, to love force. And then boom, it just showers all over everything. Mm -hmm. That's what we're offering is the yeah. opportunity to go much deeper. Yeah. So if you're somebody who's lit up by this, Sabrina's got an invite for you. Yeah. And I, I, I wanted to say that everybody who goes through our certification program on repeat the at the end when when we're doing the the exam which is optional everyone is very complimentary of us as teachers thank you for extremely that extremely complimentary and i've thought about that a lot and i do th know that we are excellent teachers but why and i think it's because when you're really tapped in yourself mm -hmm. you can see where that student or client is and speak to them from where they are to their next best step. Mm. You're not speaking to that person that's struggling like a drill sergeant. And you're not babying the one who's ready for the next thing. It's because you have the ability to tune in. So I'll quickly, very quickly, 
kind of give you the big overview. Okay. The, the certification, the way that we've designed it, is we designed a program that we would want to go through. Can I give them a link? Yeah. Okay. So Here's a link. What I love about it is from, from the day the, that you receive the first module of training, within as little as six weeks, you could start <clears throat> monetizing it. It's very self-paced. Some people take a whole year to go through it, and that's fine. Most people go through it within six or eight weeks and take the exam within the next month or so. So the way that it works is not the nine modules are pre-recorded. And the first thing you do as soon as you register is you start going through the flow form. And then the day that the first module opens up for you, you two different modules are opened up until all nine have been received. And each one is between an hour to 90 minutes long. And you go through those on your own. So what's great is it doesn't matter where you live, what time zone you're in, we are able to bring that training to you. And that's on top of everything that you're learning in the flow form. So the flow form is a home study course, Satori Qigong. Mm -hmm. And that's what you probably even already have a copy. That's what the general public is doing. These nine additional modules are taking it to a much deeper level, much deeper level as a teacher in your own personal practice and also in how to share it with others. But in addition to that, we invite you to meet with us five times live on Zoom. So fun. Where those five times are very, the topics are very specific. The first one is fundamentals in the power center. The second live is about the heart center. The third one is about the wisdom center. And each of those centers have their own sequence of moves. So you're learning the moves in layers. Then the fourth live session, we put it all together. The fifth live session, we actually practice taking the exam so yeah. you know exactly what to think. Now, if you are self-paced, you have a full year to take the exam. And that's the certification. And that's awesome. <laughs> but in addition to that, there's also bonuses that are worth over $3,000. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't mention something really, really special. Because of the pandemic and because so many people need to boost their immune system right now and because so many people need to find a way to make good money from home, if you just have 10 people paying you $20 for a class, that's $200 an hour. Get some more people, the money goes up. And that's every we, time you teach. It is 80% off. The price is 80% off the full price right now. The bonuses are over 3000 and that's where we get into, you're getting a bonus called Lights, Camera, Action, which shows you how we're teaching virtually from home. It's not a big deep dive, but it's definitely a first step. We teach you how to monetize the certification. You get listed on our website. You're in our directory. You get marketing materials. You're in a Facebook group forever with the other people who are certified and can really Lifetime help each access. other. Yep. And that's just what I remember off the top of my head. <laughs> it's all on that link. If you want to go to that so page, check he, it out. But here's the thing. Um, I'm, tomorrow morning, I'm definitely mailing everyone that's in our Life Force Mastery Dojo and everyone who's on the wait list. And we can't just like sell a gazillion of these because no. of the personal attention. We're going to be with you on Zoom and we got we to be watching you. Yep. So it, it'll, it'll be full. So if you know you're in and there's also a, a payment option, get in now and get your spot. And um, we'll there's, there's uh, we surprise and delight quite a bit. Yeah. So you will see all these fantastic bonuses and their incentives, but they're more than that. They're going to help you not only get great at Qigong, mm -hmm. you're going to get to work with us directly. We're going to truly love on you. We're going to help you. Belinda just posted the most amazing thing in read the chat. It, so if it. you're here live, I'll have Sabrina read it in just a second. And thank you for that. And I love at the end. She said, I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> no, seriously. Like Amazon, verified purchaser. It's a beautiful statement because Belinda is somebody who's dedicated her life to a lot of um, deep dive work. Okay, so I better Sabrina, read it read before it goes away. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> 
Um, I, Belinda says, I strongly encourage those thinking about certification, even if only for personal mastery. It is some of the best training on all levels that I've ever participated in, and I've been trained in many modalities for 25 plus years. You will not find better teachers, coaches, masters, mentors, or support. Content is outstanding and beyond just the energy arts themselves. Sensei Tristan and Sabrina are about true impact and progressively up-leveling the mind, body, and heart. I cannot say enough about them. Thank you. And Dale, too. Dale says, I took the certification last fall. It's a wonderful experience. I highly recommend it if you're thinking about it. And Bonnie says, looking for a place that feels like home, Satori Qigong is a great place. Bonnie is one of our certified instructors from years ago, and she's in our highest level training. So Bonnie is just such an incredible person to be around, and she's in the groups with us as well. And so you get a lot of support. You're obviously getting a lot of um, social proof <laughs> that this works. but And that's important. Whether mm -hmm. you do Qigong with us or someone else, you really, really deserve great training. Yeah. There's a video on that page towards the bottom um, from a couple of blurbs from just one of the certifications that we did. And it's so sweet to see these people talking about it. We all yeah. cry there at the exam because everyone's life has changed so much in in just six weeks it's it's unbelievable i mean the physical things are so obvious right like we had somebody who who couldn't um walk up to the second floor of their house and didn't take the certification so they'd be able to go upstairs she just wanted to launch a business and she said by week four she was walking up the stairs of her house again like yeah, this is it's just amazing. You can see I just put Barbara's um, post here. She, Barbara Aww. wrote something uh, that's beautiful. Barbara, Barbara wrote something last. Um, it might have been right before the holidays that I'm going to read. That I, I actually was reading it today, and I was like, "Wow, this is so beautiful." Barbara said, "Qigong is definitely the niche I've searched for all my life, and Satori Method is the gold standard for that learning. I've explored other Qigong offerings." but not ones that come close to Satori's excellence. Some are very good, but still don't rival Tristan and Sabrina. Some are rather esoteric. What did he say? What's, what did you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you all absolutely are so very excellent in what you do in teaching your methods so others can excel at teaching or marketing is just phenomenal. And I just want to say thank you to just the most beautiful people we get to be with you yep. guys are our extended family you are our friends you're so much more than members in a thing you're your students you're dedicated and this is the kind of tribe that we attract and so if you are new to our work or you've been around for a while and you've been thinking about doing this this is the time i i honestly don't know if we'll do another cert certification in qigong this year because we have a really big roadmap for the year there's a lot that's yeah. being birthed through we've moved into a new home we have new studios we have things to love-based business things that we have for our students and clients we have a lot on the plate but this right here right now is happening and it's going to go down good yeah I, it starts uh, in mid-february it does it's on that page just test the link out satorimethod.com forward slash certification you'll mm -hmm. see all the bonuses and a few other things that sabrina left out we do like to surprise and delight um i just want you to know that i think we're this is not braggadocious i think something's happening energetically and we're picking up on it and here's what i think it is i think there's a momentum <clears throat> we've been doing this for a while, decades. But it's not just that we've been doing it for decades. We've been doing it online, specifically online with our tribe for a little over five years with video like this. And we're learning and getting better. But the tribe is getting better. We're getting better at communicating with each other. There's a bond that's happening that's very special. There's this collective consciousness. We are consciousness first business marketing second always, right? But there's something special happening. I think we're getting out of the way more. Uh, Bonnie said something beautiful about the last event we just did, the Energy Detox and Reboot. I, I don't know if it was my best event. They always feel like the best, but it was really good. And, and I felt really good teaching, but I didn't feel like it was me so much. I feel like I'm getting out of the way 
and something where I'm going to say channeling and not like, like, I'm just like getting out of the way and it's just getting better and better. And I do think allowing, allowing and aligning. I do think this might be a really good time (laughs) to do the certification with us. We're pretty lit up. So that's what I wanted to say. Come and join us. It'll be amazing. And those of you who have been certified before, we're cooking something up for you too. We want to help you guys go next level. We haven't got all the details worked out, but I can just tell you this. You're going to have an opportunity to work with us again closely, work on technique and form and all that, but on the teaching skills, taking the teaching next level. Um, of course, more on the business growth strategies as well. So mm-hmm. there's going to be something for you too. Don't worry. And I, I do want to say for those of you who are thinking about joining us for the certification but may wonder, am I good enough? Well, that's the whole point of the certification is we design this Thank you, Jen. for people who have, they don't know Satori Qigong, the flow form yet. They are not the ones that were born extremely uh, coordinated. And that's why we take so much time in those live trainings. And, and uh, like almost, I'm going to say 100% of the people who give it a go, <laughs> they do okay. They do all right. They far um, exceed what they thought they would ever be capable of. And because of that feedback from us, the person who, like last time, there was a woman who couldn't bend a leg at all. Couldn't bend a leg at all. And we have people who like can't move an arm. Like There's all these limitations or there's some type of fatigue where they can't stand. And we're able to help not only walk them through that, but help them figure out how they can help other people with a similar issue. Um, like, what was it, the guy he had polio? Do you remember? So Is it, that Lou? Marco, I thought. Marco? No, so, because you're thinking of that. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's okay, your brain put that. I think his name is Lou. Lou. So one leg was s- super strong, and the other leg was really had had no muscle. And through going... And, and Qigong, there's a symmetry to it. He learned to, for the first time, like, put some weight on that leg and yet how to modify everything. So don't let you're not good enough hold you back from this. Please that try. would be the reason that you join us because we can, that, that's our specialty. My specialty has always been give me the most complicated thing that you can think of and I can make it easy. I can interpret it. I can take massive amounts She's of information, great at that. Great at that. and I, I can I can share it in ways that the uh, everyday person can hear. It's I I was hired at sixteen to choreograph musical theaters, uh, musicals yeah, for musical dr- dance dramas. Okay. <laughs> but the cast they weren't kids; they were adults. They were non-dancing adults. They were singers and actors. And I was brought in at 16 to make them do the big choir choreography. So I had to learn how to communicate to adults with no dance background how to do these big dance productions. She's so good. She's going to be right there And I just loved you. it. And that, that's what I love about Qigong because most of the students that are going to come to you are, are going to be people who are probably at a point in their life where... It's like, I can't really do the yoga anymore, or I haven't been doing anything and I want to get back started. And so whatever you're feeling is exactly what that student that's going to come to you is going to be feeling. So just always know that, that your own journey from where you are to where you'll be at the end of the certification is the journey that you can help someone else go through. And those of you who are um, have signed up for certification in the past and you haven't completed it yet, please send us an email. Let's get you re-enrolled in this experience. Let's get you going. Let's do it. Let's complete the mission. Yep. And those of you who went through some of the trainings with us on the last one and you needed a little bit more time to get ready for your exam, good news. Now that this cert is launching, that means another exam is going to be happening soon. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to get certified. And those of you who are certified, keep your eyes on your fries, meaning your inbox. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So fun. Thank you guys for being here and giving us a place to share and people to connect with and all the beautiful things you share back with us. Look, man, this is the reason we're doing this. It's because we wanted to connect 
with beautiful souls like you. I say you here, Rhonda wrote something earlier, beautiful. Everybody, Barbara, Mary, Lindy, I saw you come in earlier. Jan, I put some of your uh, comments up. And I'm not sure if you're still with us. Hello. Hi, Virginia from New Zealand. Shanna, if you're still here, much love to everybody. And one of the things that we would like to help you with. God, Sorry, God, I'm, trying, what is going on? I'm trying to do what my homework. <laughs> no, it wasn't you. It was a bug. Oh. <laughs> you went right in my eyeball. Um, where was, I got a little bit distracted. Sorry. Okay, I know. Bonnie knows what I'm doing. What she's doing, what we're doing, how we're connecting, <laughs> this is an important piece of the equation, okay? Like helping you connect with others, use the technology stuff, you know, all of the things, sharing on your social media if you want to do that part of it, which is fun. Just having a good time. Having a good time, having a good time. And here comes the music. The tribal rhythms. All right, gang, have a beautiful night. It is time for dinner. And go get signed up for Qigong. If you want to get one of those first spots, there may be a special extra thing coming your way. For the early birds. You'll see. It's going to happen. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Much love. <laughs>